Are you ready? Oh, the little red light. Very good. Hello, my name is Dr. Stern, and I'm... Oh, hello, I'm Dr. Stern. Most people call me Abe, and I'm a physicist here at the Gate Cascade Research Facility. Is that right? My name is Dr. Ross. I'm an experimental physicist specializing in exotic materials. Excuse me? No, just Dr. Ross. Thank you. The research we perform here, it's extremely important. And yes, I'd say it's rather unusual, too. Abe said that? That's one way of putting it. Calling our work different is a bit like calling a tidal wave damp. IC-107 is an extremely interesting example. Actually, it was one of the only subjects we've had to get rid of. We think it's a weapon. Certainly, it's been around for a long time. We discovered references to it in sources over 2,000 years old. 107? As far as we can tell, it only does one thing. It gets bigger. Roughly 0.1% every year. That may not sound like much, but it never stops. All factors suggest it's going to grow forever. In about 10 million years, it's actually going to be quite a problem. You see, it can't be damaged. It's impervious. Well, we fired it into space. Right now it's passing Jupiter, according to the tracking data. Where did it come from? It's hard to be 100% sure, because it's quite old. Can I tell them? Yes? Well, this is just a theory. But imagine you wanted to destroy something. Just eradicate it. Wipe it out. For whatever reason. But you came from a place where time moved faster. Much faster. So you create a bomb. One that expands infinitely. And you drop it on your enemy. But where they are, time moves much slower, and this bomb takes forever to explode. You see? Boom. Did Abe tell you his theory? <sighs> Don't encourage him, please. We'll be here eons. 